horizon glows darker with each step I make through the quiet streets, a pale moon slowly making its presence known in the sky. Thud, thud, thud. My heavy steps resound down the narrow road, quickly swallowed into the night. But there's also another set of steps, or rather two sets of steps, that sound by the side of me. Far lighter steps with far more grace than I could ever hope to achieve. Look, I know you're here to protect me, but do you really need to be so close? Yes. Those steps belong to none other than my self-professed guardian angels. Saka to my left, and Hikari to my right. They practically walk in unison with me, their shoulders inches away from mine. Don't be stupid! Walking home alone at night would be the perfect time for the enemy to strike. This is where we have to stay on our guard the most. Yikes. She doesn't have to yell so loud right in my ear like that. I think I must be a little bit deafer just from spending time with her today alone. Do you think I like having to be this close to you? You should be grateful I'm doing this at all. Another pink and a turn of the head, her vibrant hair swaying gently. Right, right. Sorry. Ah, uh, there's that music again. Uh, oh, don't, don't be, be like, like that, that Hikari. Hikari. Oh, that's you. Shoot! Don't think I don't catch you sneaking glances at his face while he's looking elsewhere. As she walks, Saka leans across me to smirk at Hikari. This is getting really awkward, guys. Ed? You saw- I mean, I was just checking the enemy hadn't landed a stealth attack on him. Sure, whatever you say. My left ear is rocked by a mischievous giggle as Saka breaks into hysterics. All the while, Hikari's face begins to turn an interesting shade of red. Anyway, you're the one who keeps pressing up your shoulder against him. What are you trying to do? Huh? Who's was doing that? Now that she mentions it, the left side did feel cozier for a time. Hmm? I was just trying to keep him warm. See, I care for his well-being. I wouldn't want him to catch a cold. Oh, that reminds me of a scene in Sakura Spirit that you'll see later in my Let's Play. <laughs> it's right. interesting, to say the least. Uh... And he's not complaining, so he must like it. Without warning, she latches onto my arm, pulling herself in and almost sending me toppling to the ground. See? Hey now, this is... What are you doing? You're going to tear his arm off. You, you have to do it more gently, like this. Eh? Hikari latches onto my other arm, hooking it within hers in an attempt to tug me away from Sayaka. What the heck did this turn into? Girls, you really don't need to... Hmm? No. That isn't how you do it at all, Hikari. It's more like... Saka pulls back on my arm, and soon they both have a firm grip of each of my arms, determination across their faces as I become some sort of human rope. What is this, tug of war? They're going to rip me apart? Yeah! Please! This is how it's done! Did they even remember what they were trying to do? It started innocently enough to not spurred into some sort of contest between them. They really are competitive- Ow! Now's not the time to think about stuff like that! Can you please get off of me?! Raising my voice more than I've ever done in a while, I explode. My body at stake here. <clears throat> and like that, they both let go of my arms at once, leaving me free to ensure that they're both still fully intact. I'm glad they listened to reason. I really thought I was going to die there. Apparently, it's not the monsters I have to worry about anymore, it's these two. Uh, girls? At least, I thought it was my desperate cry that had gotten through to them. They seem completely transfixed by something up above. What are they looking at? I squint my eyes and gaze high above the rooftops. And then, as the clouds part and the pale moonlight shines down, I see her. Look familiar? Yep. A girl sits on the ledge of the highest point of one of the tallest buildings in the area. Silver hair that seems to glimmer in the moonlight, and an outfit as dark as the night sky. She gives off an awe-inspiring look, almost angelic. Like she's some sort of angel, gazing down from the heavens. At least I would call her an angel if she, it wasn't for that unsettling grin that just now spread across her face at the sight of us. Ah. Uh... This is you. 
There you are. She remembers something to herself that I can't make out at all from the distance between us. Whatever it was she said, it was enough to make her shoulders shake with laughter. I can't help but feel like I've seen her somewhere before. I wonder why that is. No matter how hard I try to think back, I can't recall her face at all then. In a burst of feathers, obsidian wings unfurled from behind her. Now those definitely aren't holy. I got a bad feeling about this. Amber eyes peered down at the three of us, narrowed in determination as the same unsettling grin remains. It might just be my imagination, but I think she's looking at me specifically. I can almost feel her stick. It's enough to send a chill down my spine and sparks a faint pulse at the back of my skull. Uh, a friend of yours? I force out a laugh, though I know the truth. The air is growing tense, like that time with the monster before. And the looks on both Hikari's and Sayaka's faces can only suggest something bad is about to go down. Ha! Afraid not. Can't uh, get back. I don't like this at all. Oh, okay, okay. I do as I'm told and retreat back a good distance, not really wanting to argue when they look as scary as they do. So, what do you think we're dealing with here? She seems far too human to be a shadow, but then I get the same feeling of dread from her presence. Ah, gotcha. I think. Wait, so is she a monster or not? That's what I'm trying to figure out. If you would stop yelling in my ear for one second, let me concentrate. I'm not yelling. Sheesh. Right. I forgot. That's your default volume. Well then, just be quiet and let me think things over. You're so cruel sometimes, Hikari. Silver-haired girl. Still high atop the roof, zoom one last look before turning her gaze to the girls. And then she jumps. Why? Why did she jump? I, I can barely watch. She plummets downward, towards where my guardians are stood. No hint of even beginning to slow down. Those wings just for show? Faster and faster she descends, before finally the pavement closes in. I don't want to watch, but somehow I get the feeling she wouldn't have jumped without a good reason. At least I hope she didn't. <clears throat> Mere inches from smashing into the ground, her wings spread wide as it breaks, before bringing her to a sudden stop. Not even a gradual halt. She just comes to a complete grinding halt, as if the laws of gravity don't apply to her. Even with wings, something like that shouldn't be possible. I mean, if a pigeon were to attempt something like that, they'd barely be recognizable on the pavement right now. In fact, her feet aren't even touching the ground. She hovers above ever so slightly before stepping onto the solid surface, as if stepping off the invisible platform. Part of me is relieved that she isn't hurt from that little stunt. Then part of me is also terrified as to what might happen next. Silver-haired girl stands before Hikari and Sayaka, her expression still as unsettling as ever. Despite the smile, though, there's nothing in her copy that would suggest she has any bad intention. Yet the other two girls are tense. My head rings, just trying to focus on her. Like that monster from the poor. She... related to them? I clutch a hand to my head and try to steady myself. Taking all my willpower just to keep upright at the moment. Good evening, girls. She greets them so casually, despite the intense glares directed her way. Somehow, I guess feeling she didn't leap off a freaking roof just to exchange pleasantries. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? Who are you and what do you want? My, you're a hostile bunch, are you? Aren't you? She looks like a devious giggle, doing a little to ease the tension in the air. Very well. You may call me Yuzuki. As for what I'm after, well... Her eyes flip from the girls and sends straight on to me her smile, enough to send a chill down my spine. I'll be taking the boy if you don't mind. See... He's very important to me. I knew it. Of course she'd be one for this whole mess. Why wouldn't she be? Today's the day where everything apparently wants me dead. 
back in our